Zoezi hilo limeanza hapo jana ambapo miili saba ilikabidhiwa kwa familia tatu kwa ajili ya mazishi baada ya kupewa ushauri wa kisaikolojia na wanachama wa kamati ya kitaifa ya msalaba mwekundu. Hii inajiri baada ya mchakato wa uchungu wa utambuzi wa miili ambao umechukua mwaka kwa sababu ya miili mingi ilikuwa imeharibika uwepo wa idadi kubwa ya kesi na ukosefu wa vifaa vya kufanya vipimo vyote vya vina saba yani DNA. Hata hivyo waziri wa usalama Profesa Kithure Kindiki amesema miili yote ambazo hazitatambuliwa na kuchukuliwa na wenyewe yatazikwa kwa kaburi la pamoja na kujengewa mnara wa makumbusho. And because of the defilement and the discretion that was done on that scene of crime the government has decided that that's it, that 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 parcel the 4000 will be compulsory taken by government and it is going to be used to first of all arrest any of our brothers and sisters or our children who lost their lives but either they cannot be identified for whatever reason or maybe they have not been claimed or if a family voluntarily agrees we are going to lay them in a dignified manner on that parcel and the government will also construct a memorial on that property so that it remains a permanent reminder of what happened in our country as i have said this is the worst security attack ever to occur on the soil of kenya aida waziri kindiki ametoa hakikisho kuwa wale wote waliohusika kwa vyo vyote katika maafa hayo ikiwemo kufadhili watakamatwa punde tu uchunguzi utakapokamilika the process of accountability of public officials including security managers who are in charge when that massacre happened will happen and that judicial commission of inquiry will recommend a prosecution and other measures including dismissal lustration condemnation verification anything that any form of punishment can that can shame those of us who had an opportunity to mitigate that occurrence and they did not either they didn't care or they ignored it or they underestimated it or they just looked the other way so i just want to urge the people of kenya just to be patient a little bit we will reach there as i said on the very many visits i did to the scene of crime last year the government of kenya has nothing to hide and we will we will go full uh, full hog to ensure there is full accountability <laughs> Katika ripoti iliyotolewa na tume ya kitaifa ya kutetea haki za binadamu wiki iliyopita ili walaumu maafisa wa serikali kwa kuzembea kazini na kushindwa kuzuia mauaji hayo. <tos> Tayari mchungaji mwenye utata Paul Mackenzie ameshtakiwa kwa makosa ya ugaidi na mauaji ya washirika wake mashtaka ambayo hata hivyo ameyakana.